Hi everyone, this is Elisa. Welcome back to my channel, Elisa in Montreal. Thank you so much for coming back to see yet another one of my videos. This is so much appreciated. This video is going to be on an update on my white hair transition. I'm trying to make one video a month so you can see the progress. The way I calculate the, how my white hair is going is by calculating this brown piece. The reason why I can't calculate where the white is growing it's because the bleach that I did to my hair is so well done that it actually mixes in so well I can't even tell anymore where the white hair start sorry where the white hair stops and the bleach starts so it's really really a good job. Jessica if you're listening to this video bravo well done. That part is really well done this part here which is my patch of dark hair well there's nothing that jessica can do because there's no white hair growing here there's only the brown hair growing and this is the bleach part so how do i know if my white hair is growing is if i see my brown hair growing yeah enough rambling back to the point of this video like I was saying, yes, it's an update on how far my white hair is going, but it's also an update of how much knowledge, if you want, I have gathered since. When I upload a video, I have many women from all over the world writing to me and giving me their opinion and their own story, what happened to them. I read these stories and I am baffled on how we are totally taken control by the man. For me, the man is whoever <laughs> decided that things should be done this way. And usually this way is for the man to make money, lots of money. He makes the money, we suffer. Before I continue, big fat parenthesis, I am not against dye. I am not against anyone continuing to dye their hair until they're 106 years old and more. I am completely for happiness. Whatever that person chooses to do, as long as she doesn't harm, she or he doesn't harm himself, doesn't harm others, and it's legal and honest, go for it. That's the only thing that matters is for that person to be happy. Having said that, I repeat myself, I am not against dyed hair. Not at all. I needed to add this parenthesis because unfortunately, I have some people coming back to me and telling me, yeah, yeah, dye is a bad thing. Yeah, yeah, ditch the dye. Yeah, yeah, dying is not good. And no, 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 no. That's not my message. My message is you do what makes you happy. I'm telling you what makes me happy just in case there's other women out there who, you know, they're thinking about doing what I'm going through and hey, they happen to follow my channel, hi, and they go, oh, okay, this woman is doing what I'm thinking about doing. So I'm just letting you know what I'm going through. Got that? Yeah. Close parenthesis, as I was saying, the man has to make money because that's his job. And usually he makes money from us. The only thing I have sadly against the man is that unfortunately, we let ourselves be so influenced, so conditioned, so brainwashed to believe that what the man says has to be. And it's so sad because we are not robots. We are not all the same. Everybody's different. Hell, even Barbies are different. Not all the Barbies are the same. You have blonde Barbie, brunette Barbie, redhead Barbie, black Barbie, Asian Barbie. Hello. Even Barbies who are dolls are different. And so are we. Yet we are made to believe that if we don't fit that mold, we don't look good. We are no longer worthy. We are no longer valuable. We are just disposable. And that to me is completely utter sadness. The man believes that in order to be valuable, appreciated and respected, 
we have to have certain norms. I'm going to say the most obvious. You have to look young, you have to have a thin shape, and you have to be tall. If you fit those criteria, you are usually considered valuable to the man. And the man has many ways to convince the world around that that's the one and only right way of doing things. And a lot of us fall into it. I certainly fell into it. I believed it. Why not? I'm human. I'm not a robot. I'm also influenceable and emotional and passionate. So I also got influenced and to believe that that was the right way of being. That's why I dyed my hair for 21 years. It came to a point when I realized that everything that I was told to do by the man no longer was giving me what I most talk about, happiness. I felt like I was competing with myself. I was my own competitor. It didn't fit in my head that I could possibly not love myself for the way I am. I had to stop this. I stopped. For me, letting my white hair come out, it's not a matter of color. It's a matter of entity. The whole thing, everything. Who am I as a woman today at the age of 52, in 2017, I want to walk around with my children, my 20 something year old children, and I want people to say, Hey, you're walking around with your mother. I don't want them to say, Hey, we saw you walking around with your older sister. I'm not into that. I want to be considered a mother. I want to be considered a woman of a certain age because I want to come across that, Hey, you little thing. I'm sorry, where you've been, I've went and came back a million times. Okay, maybe not a million, a couple hundred times. So I know more than you. Only because you don't have white hair and are thin or not tall or you're simply young, doesn't make you better than me. And hello, I am better than you because I have knowledge that you don't have and no matter how many books you have you cannot have my knowledge because i lived all those years that you still have to live therefore you cannot beat me and i am proud to say i've lived all these decades i've experienced all these mistakes and successes been there done that worn the t-shirt and i'm happy that I am privileged to be able to say that I am old enough to have white hair. Thank you God for that privilege. I have said this in my other videos and I'm going to say this all the time. We are privileged to be able to say I am old enough to have white hair. Then you have so many people thinking that getting older necessarily, absolutely, unequivocally unequivocally, did I say that right? <laughs> Means you're ugly. What? What? Who came up with that notion? Who says that because you have white hair and wrinkles and sagging skin and sagging jaw, you're ugly. I want to know who wrote that. I want to punch that person in the face. That is the fuckingest, biggest lie. That's not even English and I don't fucking care. There is nothing that pisses me more off that when people say that because you're old and you have wrinkles and you're sagging skin, you're ugly. Fuck! I'm so pissed now. <laughs>